Hey, what's going on, everybody? Joseph Sadar here. Praise you guys are doing lovely as always. Welcome to the new week. I got another prophetic word today to share. And guys, I strongly believe the Lord wants to really build on the last prophetic word. Uh, he really wants to emphasize that the kingdom of God is truly at hand, guys. And the harvest is very ripe. So, yeah, yeah. Um, and your role in this is your role in this time is critically important. It's a very excited word and um, God is really wanting to not only encourage us to go forth in this new thing that he's doing, he's also wanting to thoroughly mandate us to do these things. You know, like it's 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 great. But before I get into this word, you know, as always, just please remember that every prophetic word is meant for everyone. And, you know, if you're confused about whether a prophetic word, you know, is for you, you must take your petitions and your questions to the Lord specifically. You know, he knows the answer for your specific situation. You know, I, I don't, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, not every detail in a prophetic word may be meant for you. You know, sometimes, you know, people get tripped up, you know, by certain details I say. Um, and some sometimes certain things don't resonate with people. And it's probably because it's not for them. Right. Um and a lot of times in my prophetic words, I'll often say, you know, some of you are dealing with this. Or I'll say, for some of you, the Lord is requiring you to do this or that, you know, whatever the case may be. And that truly means just some of you. You know, it, it doesn't mean all of you. It doesn't mean everybody. And a lot of times you'll know if a prophetic word or a portion of a prophetic word is meant for you um, as the Lord will confirm it. You know, he'll, he'll confirm it you know, while you're watching the video or confirm it, you know, a lot of times before you watch the video. So, yeah, just remember, there may be portions of a prophetic word that are meant for you. And even altogether, a prophetic word may not be meant for you. And or at least at this time. So I, I just had to explain. I had, to, I had to get that out there, guys. But most importantly, just remember to take all of your questions to the Lord. You know, I only prophesy in part, I only know in part. So, you know, please understand that I am only the messenger. You know, I, I love reading your emails, guys, and, and your comments. And a lot of them have blessed me, really. But I'm just getting emails of people that are, you know, asking me questions that really only God knows. <laughs> like, really only God knows um, specifically. And I'll just say one more quick thing before I get into this, to this message. In my prophetic word titled, You Have the Advantage, God wanted to show us that we must use the Holy Spirit to our advantage because the Holy Spirit brings clarity, direction, and he reveals our next steps. So yeah, just please, please take advantage of the Holy Spirit when you have these questions, you know, about your specific situation. He will guide you if you listen to him. Amen. All right, yeah, so yeah, I just needed to throw that out there, you know, um, just, you know, before I got into this prophetic word, I just wanted to address some things. So if y'all ready, we'll finally hop into this week's prophetic word. So guys, the title the Lord gave me today is Start Your Kingdom Mission. God has qualified and ordained you to be fruitful at this time. And as always, I'll start with a couple of passages of scripture. So 2 Corinthians 6, 2 reads, For he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And Matthew 28, 18 through 20 reads, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. And Joshua 1, nine reads, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Such a beautiful passage, guys. My friends, 
This is the commission. The Lord is commis commi commissioning you to go out and to do his work. He is blowing the trumpets for his followers to go out and make disciples of all nations. He's saying that all the work that he's done in you, all of what you've been equipped for, it is time to commence your kingdom mission. You are qualified. You are qualified. You're ready. And the Lord is very proud of your growth. You know, he's seen what you've been through. And now he's turned it all for your good. He's equipped you. Now it is the time to go out and use what God has given you for his kingdom purposes exclusively. Now is the time to bear much fruit. Now is the time to build. The harvest is truly plentiful, guys, and your obedience have made your harvest ripe for ministry. The seasons have changed in your favor. Now it's time to go out and bring God the glory. The Lord says you are ready. And let me even further emphasize who this is for, so there's no confusion. You know, this prophetic word is for those who have been tested and trialed, you know, during your wilderness. You know, you've been through the pruning process and you came out bearing more fruit. You're more fruitful. You know, you allowed the Lord to do his ministering and restorative work within you. You know, you, you didn't sway from him and you allowed him to enter the, the darkest places of your heart and you've casted your burdens to him. You know, God's promised you the promised land and now it's all starting to come together. You know, you're no longer in the wilderness and God is completing the good work he started in you. This word is for you. You're a part of his remnant. Your time is now, and it's because you've obeyed the Lord. You know, you've obeyed the Lord, and, and you got the training he desired for you to get. Others, you know, who have not done this will not receive these blessings and these promises now. But you will, because again, your time is now. I just had to make sure, you know, I emphasize that. Because it's because your heart is so aligned with the kingdom and you sought the kingdom first. You know, Matthew 6.33 reads, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. This is a promise that the Lord is fulfilling in this time for you, my friends. This is all scripture, guys, all scripture. It's time to start your kingdom mission. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you, and he's going to bless your faithful and fruitful hands, guys. He trusts you. Deuteronomy 28, 12 is a beautiful verse, and it reads, The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Lovely people, you shall not lack. You shall not want. So my friends, the Lord is just wanting to further confirm and commission you. This is really the Lord's will. You really heard him right. And it's time for you to get out there and start doing what he's called you to do. Now is the time. And like I said, this is a commencement. You know, your role in these last days is critically important to what the Lord is doing. You know, you are being sent out. You know, guys, like the training wheels are off, man. Like the training wheels are off and he, he's sending you out on this adventure for him and with them. The time for salvation is now, you know. And many people are dying to hear the gospel of the kingdom. You know, they're dying to see the God that has done such a marvelous work within you. And this is a kingdom mandate, guys. Like the lost sheep and the lost souls of this world, 
they need your voice. They need your gifts, you know, your talents, your, your donations, your business, business, business ideas, your skills, your ministry, your services, or just whatever work the Lord has given you, whatever he's called you to, like they, they need it. There is still an intense urgency in the spirit to, you know, just to get moving. You know, God is going to be faithful. In your mission, you know, he, he, he's going to bring you the increase, the, the, the favor, the, the provision and, and just the resources, you know, that are necessary to fulfill the mission he's given you. You know, he's not going to leave you empty handed. You won't be alone in this. You know, God is with you and he shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And that's Philippians 419. He will give you what you need in this last hour. He will make sure you're equipped. And it's important to remain strong and courageous during this time. Again, the Lord is with you. Amen. Now, I feel that God really wants to explain something very important about your kingdom mission. There are some of you who, you know, are really excited about, you know, the calling that God has indeed confirmed for you. You know, you're excited about the promised land and, you know, all the things that, you know, that are about to come to pass and all the things that God's about to bring in fruition. You know, you're like you're just thrilled about it. And, and for a good reason, I may add. But the Lord is wanting to remind us of a couple things. He wants to remind us, you know, what we're doing this mission for who we're doing it for, and why we're doing it. You know, it's first and foremost for the kingdom of God. It's first and foremost to bring God glory and to deliver the gospels to the lost souls who need it. You know, this mission God has called you to, you know, it has a kingdom assignment attached to it. You know, these next level blessings, these open doors and you know there aren't just for your enjoyment and your pleasure alone i have to make sure i make that clear you know it is for the kingdom and so i mean the lord is he's saying it's perfectly fine to you know be excited for all these things that are to come you know be excited throw a party you know celebrate and, and praise the lord for you know what he's doing in your life but he's also saying that in all your excitement just Remember, it's not just for your own pleasure alone. You know, there is a responsibility attached to these blessings. You know, and don't get me wrong, they are for you to enjoy. Most definitely hear me on that. They are for you to enjoy, but they are also given to you to bring people to the kingdom. So maintain a sense of sobriety when, you know, all these things come to pass in the sense that, just remember, it's not just for you. You know, all these things that are coming to pass, you know, they are happening because you sought the kingdom first and your focus should remain on bringing others to the kingdom. You've done your job well in the wilderness and now it's time to do your job in the promised land well. Amen. I'll just say one more thing and then I'm going to bring this to a close. So I believe the Lord is really wanting to convince someone to um, to try that new thing that you've been wanting to do. And, and let me explain more of what that means. You know, this, this may relate to some of you. The Lord is really making it clear that this isn't the wilderness anymore, guys. Like, it, it's not the wilderness. You are arriving in your promised land. And some of you have entered into your promised land. The seasons have truly changed and the harvest is truly ripe, my friends. Harvest is truly ripe. And the Lord is making it clear that he is blessing the hands of the remnant in this season. And so there are certain doors that are open. You know, some doors you don't even know are open right now that the Lord is telling you to try them out. You know, try try to open them. Some of them may have been closed, you know, during your wilderness season, but they aren't closed now. You know, they are unlocked doors. There's some unlocked doors that the Lord wants you to, to, to go through. And, you know, for some of you, that thing that's been on your back of your mind, it's actually been a kingdom idea that's been brewing. You know, it wasn't supposed to come out, you know, in times past, but 
you know, it was brewing. And it's something that the Lord planted in you that, you know, he wants to use, that he plans on using. So if there's been, you know, an idea and an activity or something that you wanted to try, the, the Lord is saying that this is a ripe time to start it. You know, and whatever that looks like for you, God is truly blessing the hands of the remnant at this time. So be confident and, and take your land with authority. You are right where God wants you to be. So be bold in your call. It's time to start your kingdom mission. God is with you. You're not doing this alone. My goodness, you're not doing this alone. He will provide all your needs to fulfill his mission in you. Amen. So guys, I actually feel led to pray over you guys and, and just all the kingdom missions that God has spoken all over all of you. You know, I'm going to pray just for an abundance of his kingdom resources to shower you and to aid you during this time. All right. So, Father, right now, I just thank you, God, just for all the all the wonderful ministries, just the wonderful missions that you're that you're building in, in this time, God, with all of your faithful followers right now. Jesus, I just thank you for the remnant, God, and I just thank you for all their ideas and the missions that you call them to, Lord. I just pray for just even more increased favor, God, just just an increase, just for them to do just your your wonderful work, God, and just for them to bring so many people in the kingdom, God. I just pray they just have an overabundance of just resources, God, that they just should not lack in any area, God, so that they can yeah, just, just bring even more people to the kingdom, God. And I just pray that even that they're able to, you know, just be blessed by the fruit of their labor, God. I just pray that, they, you know, that they are blessed by just what you're giving them, Jesus. But I just pray, Lord, that you just even more so just thoroughly equip them, God, just for your kingdom, Jesus, God. And I just pray for just more and more success, Lord, and just more and more open doors for each of the faithful remnant, God. You're so good, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We love you. We believe you, Jesus. In your holy name we pray. Amen. So, guys, I mean, that's it for today. I didn't realize it was going to be a little longer video than usual, but I pray that you were all still just tremendously blessed by, you know, the video, whoever it's been for. Um, you all have been great. Guys, I really thank you for the emails and, you know, the comments and the prayers and, and, and the gifts that you've sent, you know, my way. I, I really take None of this lightly, guys. Seriously, I mean, that it, it really blesses me in ways you can't imagine. Um, you know, all the feedback and, and the contributions to, to the growth of this channel that you've made. Like, I really, really appreciate it, guys. You know, you are all awesome. And I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously. Uh, okay, I'm done getting sappy. You know, I love you guys. I'm praying for you all. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome week, all right? Peace out.